Hello and welcome back to Realmscraft Spotlight. Today I am going to show you how we make gods on the server. Uh, we've put in a plugin to allow you to make an altar. If you make an altar then you can, you'll become a follower of the god whose name you put on the altar. Uh, it's pretty simple but I'm going to try to show you anyway. I'm going to do it over here. Uh, the first thing you do is you put down a stone brick block. Then, there we go, you put a torch on top, and then you put a sign on it, and you just put the god's name. So, Garm. Boom. And then the name turns into Altar of, and then the god's name. Now, I am already a follower of Garm uh, in Realms and in here. Um, t you right click and you uh, that constitutes praying at the altar. And what that does is that actually increments a counter that tracks how many people are praying to that god. And um, that's sort of the first step. So uh, if you click on an altar, you become a follower of the god. And then um, if you have three followers of a god, you can get a priest. And let me just show you some of the commands. So you've got slash gods. And that will show you uh, just basic information about the mod. You can do slash gods list, and that will show you the number of uh, people following um, each god, the top four gods. It doesn't show all. Um, somewhere there's an ability to show all, but I don't know where that is. Um, but right now, slash gods list shows the top four. Um, the ability to find out if someone is following a god is gods check and then like I'll do Sir Aston and he is just sorry as I thought. Um, you can also do slash gods uh, info and I'll do just sorry and it says priest none believers two and then that's an exact power of 2.353059 and that's calculated based on the number of believers the number of times he's been prayed to all kinds of stuff like that. So if we look at God's uh, info garm, he is at 12.258855. So obviously I'm on this server far too much and am diligent about right clicking my altar. Um, if you do not like who you're following, you can do slash gods leave. Uh, I'm not going to do that because uh, I fear the all powerful garm. <laughs> And if you, uh, now it, the, one of the neat things about this plugin is that, uh, let me try to demonstrate. Now I've got a hoe here, a wooden hoe. I'm going to drop it. Now your god will watch out for you. If you are missing stuff, then your god will actually give it to you. And when you click on your, um, when you right click on your altar, it will also give you stuff. So the god will give you um, a cookie if it's a low level. And when you get higher level, I think you get higher level stuff. And I haven't gotten a gift yet, but I should be getting one at some point, and I'll get another hoe because your god wants to make sure you have all of your stuff that you could get. There you go. See that? Oh, look at that. Ain't that pretty? So now my god said. Uh, altar and gave me a stone hoe. I guess my god is more powerful and can give better items. Um, the god also can theoretically give quests and uh, some quests are like conversion quests and if it asks you to do something you can either type slash god accept or slash god reject, all one word and Garm doesn't know what I'm talking about but um, that's how you communicate back. Um, now you can also, let me get out of, hold on a second, okay, um, let me get out of here and do another, blah, blah, blah. where is it, I gotta get myself another sign, where's the signs, where are you, there you are, okay, be faster just make one. Um, now I'm going to make another altar and this one, oh, that's not what I want to do. I want to put the... Come on. Give me the sign back. 
there we go okay so you put the torch on top and then I can do blessings on and then it's B I'll just do Balthazar so B Valimar now one thing to know is that you have to use the actual player name not the uh, nickname so if you have a tilde in front of your name um, it's a nickname and it won't work so um, I've got blessings on B Valimar and then I right click it and uh, Garm apparently is nonplussed but um, basically what that does is that um, I guess it lets you right click and you can bless the player I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure I think that's how it works um, but yeah so that's basically how this stuff works um, it allows you to have a pantheon that's entirely player created which is wonderful I love that uh, you can also do curses let me see if I can do a curse um, I'll do a curse on Sir Blockhead because Sir Blockhead is my secondary logon and um, it doesn't really matter. Now, if I remember correctly, only priests can do blessings and curses. And I think the priesthood goes to the person who has been praying the most once you get three uh, or more followers. So, curses um, on Sir Block. Actually, I'll do, I'll do, no, I'll do Sir Blockhead. So, curses on Sir Blockhead. There we go, and right-click on the sign on the altar to curse that player. Uh, I'm not sure what happens if you do that. Um, you can read up on, I'll, I'll put the URL for this plugin in the notes, but it's Bucket, so you go to dev.bucket.org and do a search for gods, and you'll find it pretty quickly. Um, so yeah, that's how it goes. Um, eventually, when we have more players on, we can do games and do the games centered around, or competitions, do the competition centered around who worships what god. Um, we can do quests that are designed around the gods. And if we really want to, we can do stuff like uh, go invisible and then use our world edit powers in the middle of a quest and tell people you should pray to your god and then if we're invisible, select an area just like I selected that block and do uh, slash slash move one up, boom, and then slash uh, shift one up, and then we can simply continue the madness. And if you're invisible while you do that, and if you're clever and can do it fast, you can actually move blocks around at a fairly alarming rate and really mess with players because they won't know what's going on they'll know that there's no um they'll know that there's no piston pushing it and if you get clever you can do some really neat stuff um and create you know sort of a little bit more to the feeling of what the gods can do uh, and that's sort of an event holdery thing you know if you were doing if you were being a quest master and running a quest on the server here um you could mess with them and use the power of the gods to you know enhance the uh, role-playing that happens here. So uh, that's all I'm going to show you about the gods. Uh, I highly recommend, uh, actually you know what, I'm going to just do slash gm. Uh, actually no, I'm, I'm, I'm creative right now. Alright, so let's zip on over to Cold Springs and I'm going to show you a little bit that you may not be aware of about Cold Springs. Um, most people know that Cold Springs has a chapel in it and people who have looked carefully enough or asked enough know that I uh, look a world hole. Um, know that the chapel is a chapel to Garm. Um, if you're curious enough and have investigated the chapel, then you'll have found out that the chapel to Garm actually contains a well, a little secret. And I'm just going to show it to you now because uh, because Garm is awesome and you should all worship him. And plus, you know, for your gods, you should make cool cathedrals and chapels and stuff, too. Uh, just for the role-playing, really. Um, I chose to make the chapel to Garm. This is it right here. Um, because Garm is the god that I got sucked into, I mean, uh, chose to worship, and that Daoud worshipped, um, or got you know sucked into. So here we go. You can build an altar to any god or goddess. Right-click there, and he'll give you cookies. And down below is a nether gate. And while we have a chapel to Garm here, I will get in here. You, know, you might have seen this before. I, I tend to repeat myself sometimes. But 
in here we have, well, a cathedral. I've actually improved it slightly. Um, and while I'm at the cathedral, I will show you one other improvement to the server and the texture pack that you may not be aware of. Um, and that is, let me get out of the window here, oh, that doesn't matter. Okay, that is this. These plants are nether wart. And this is a custom texture pack that I have created so that our nether wart looks crazier and cooler. And uh, it's just a plant that you can uh, harvest and then use to make potions. And you kind of need it to do any brewing. So um, if you're looking for nether wart, well, this is it. And if you like the texture, let me know. If you hate the texture, well, I guess let me know. Um, I do, I am very happy to modify things based on what you guys like. So uh, let me just show you that the first level looks like that. These sort of buds in the ground. And then they, they come up and then they sort of really get big. Alrighty, so that is God's. This is Garm's Cathedral. Y'all should come on and worship Garm, or, or at least play and have fun and, and find out more about how all this God stuff works. Uh, it's a great enhancement to role playing in my opinion. I'm, I'm really happy with it. Um, so that is the God's plugin. Let me know if you have questions and I'll try to post that comment, that, that, that URL um, in, the, in the notes on this video. Thanks for watching and hopefully the next Realms Craft Spotlight will not be too long from now. It's been a while since the previous one. Take care. Bye-bye.